So I was planning to do the part two uh, installation of Oracle XE on Ubuntu, uh, but yesterday I had an interesting error uh, with one client uh, where they couldn't start the listener. Um, it just came up with an error message. So I just thought we'd take a look at why that occurred um, and how to fix it, because it, it's not something that's going to be familiar to a lot of people. So just have a look to see what processes we've got running currently for our Oracle user. Oops. Typo there. Oops. Um, we can see the last one there, the TS listener is up and running. Uh, then if we have a look in the temporary directory uh, per Oracle, uh, oops. then we can see that we've got three files stored there um, with an owner of Oracle DBA. This one you can see has actually got the same uh, number here as the process number for Oracle. So I'm just going to switch user into uh, the Oracle user. Well, let, let me just show you. If I try to shut the listener down here, then it, it tells me that I'm not authorized to execute the listener command. If I switch to Oracle user, I just need to set the uh, home variables for Oracle. Execute that. Just no control and stop. And now it let me stop the listener. Um, just come out to the Oracle user. And again, let's just list this directory. And um, now we've got no files there. Now I can start the listener, which I'll just do in a second. But what can happen? This this scenario is where the the listeners been stopped. Uh, maybe the process has been killed or it's had a, an error uh, that's caused it to stop. And you, you log in as your own user and you start the listener. And as we can see, the, the listener's uh, successfully started. Now, if we have a look in this, this uh, temporary folder that we're in, we'll notice that the three files have been uh, created again. Let's just have a look to see what processes we've got running. Get the listener process that we're doing. So our listener is running, but it's actually running under my user. From the any end user's perspective, they won't notice that the listener's being run as my user, and the parent process ID. Uh, it's, it's got one there, so e even when I log out, it's going to continue running. I'll just kill this listener uh, to make it a bit more realistic of what could happen and the error that I got yesterday. So I'll kill the listener. And now if I try to restart the listener when, uh, when I'm logged in as the Oracle user, which is what would happen when you uh, start up, that the process would be started as Oracle. Um, again, just uh, set the environment. Now I'll try to try to uh, start the listener. You get this uh, TNS twelve five 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 permission denied. TNS one two five sixty protocol adapter error. Uh, insufficient privilege for the operation. And the the listener won't start. Uh, let's just look to see what files we've got in our current directory. So still just the, the same three files. So the, the way to fix this is really either to, to just change the owner of these files, or DBA, or to just remove them. I'm going to just remove them. So, oh, I just need to uh, come out of the Oracle user and let's just... Uh, Alright. Now, if I go back to the Oracle user, I start the listener again. Just set the environment variables again. 
then there's no control start. Then again we can see the listener starts it successfully. And let's see our files in this uh, folder. And again they're all Oracle DBA. Let's just look at the processes for Oracle user. Um, and we can see that the process has started as the Oracle user. So I hope uh, you guys have found this useful. Um, it's a bit of an interesting error and in, in the case where I was looking at it yesterday, there wasn't anything particular which had led to why the, why the, the file was started with a different user other than the Oracle user. Uh, it was just this one file that had the wrong user. All the other files had uh, Oracle DBAs.